Okay, so I just got done doing a little demo of salinity. This is what the salt salty ocean water would be. Um, I did a demo of how salty regular water would be, but I was curious and I wanted to see what salinity I would have to make water for a golf ball to float. For anybody that's golfed, you know that when you hit a ball in the water, it goes kerplunk and right to the bottom. So the question is, how much salt would I have to add? And the answer is, a lot. So this is a thousand milliliters of water, or one liter of water, and into it I've added 225 grams of salt. That's about seven times saltier than the ocean is. It's really salty. As you can see, it is, and this is just salt and water, people. It's nothing else in there. You can kind of see that it's really salty. In fact, it's almost probably to the point of saturation, which means saturation point is the point where nothing else will dissolve into water. But at any rate, I'm pretty close to that. I can feel a little bit of grittiness on the bottom, which means that maybe not all my salt is, is dissolved in. But I wanted to see if I could make a golf ball, a regular standard golf ball, float. So here we go. There you have it, 225 grams of salt for every one liter of water to make a golf ball float. Now, I don't know if this would be a good application for a golf course to use because it would be excessively expensive for all the water and salt and plus it would kill everything in the water, everything, fish, plants, anything else. This saltiness of this water is unlivable by any organism. So it probably is not a good use, but I thought it would be interesting to give it a shot. So here you go. Enjoy. 